Welcome to Sonya Podcast. Um, on my podcast, I was speaking to my friend and she was like, Sonya, she's Norwegian. She says, how come you don't tell people to go to Norway? So I said, well, because my audience are, are diverse and I don't think everyone can go to Norway. So she was like, but it's a beautiful country, and I'm from there. And I'm like, yeah, I understand that. And she's like a beautiful person. Like, her her aura is very beautiful as a person. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask y'all, for the people who want to know about Norway, to let me know. You could comment you could comment on this podcast or you could comment at sv766752 at gmail.com or you can go to my um, social media and DM me, DM me at um, son.ia9795 Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest. And for my listeners that have my actual phone number, you can let me know there. So, but right now, I'm, I don't talked about most of these places. So, um, I'm going to tell y'all some of the best hotels to stay at. And one is Shangri-La. That's in Turkey. Um... It has a, a Shang Palace set standards um, for fine dining with chef hand pulling noodles, table side and preparing perk and duck. That served over two elaborate courses. It has a spa and in the spa is a full body moisturization with milk and honey. Our next one is the Marker Hotel. That's in Ireland. Um... It is known for um, its hip vibe, its light field lobby, two bedroom busting with pops of color. It's, an, um, it's open seasonally. The rooftop bar has killer views of the city and mountains. Guests have guaranteed access. Our next one is the Four Seasons Hotel at Badcock in Thailand. So this is, it has a swimming pool with the cushion loungers for all day, vast suites and bedroom with these soaking bathtubs, floor to ceiling windows. It also has social clubs. The lobby has marble walls. It has rotating exhibits. Our next one is the Drake Oak Brook or the Graph Collection in Illinois. This is this one has attractive French and Frank Sinatra, Prince, Charles. Um, it has the Colonial Room Restaurant Office, high tea in the afternoon. It's a retro dishes, dinner time, wedge salad to shrimp cocktail. Our next one is the Sofitel, Washington, D.C. This one is a French twist. Um, it has an art deco tangy building dates back to 1925. It's the Adam Hotel, Old Carlton Hotel, which is now the St. Regis. It has um, grand columns, ceilings, marble floors. Our next one is the Four Season Hotel Ritz Lisbon in Portugal. This is a high end white linen, gives a feel of past presence. It's easy to indulge here, but don't miss the health and wellness often, including an indoor lab, lap pool, and a rooftop running track. The next one is the area Saint Tropez in France. This is like a boutique hotel. Um, it was where the 19th century British general fell in love with the 
Indian princess. It has a large pond in a past life. It's lined with white parcels and big cushion lounges. It's central location in the old town. So that's France. Our next one is Cape Condogan Boutique Hotel. That's in Cape Town, South Africa, which I talked about before. It's a um, Georgian era town house. It's tucked away in a residential street and gardens. This has um, crisp white paint work, black shutters, manicured gardens, pool terrace. It has a bohemian sheet. It's the jewelry is private at this price anywhere in Cape Town. Our next one is the Thompson in Nashville, Tennessee. This one has the March House restaurant. It's inside the hotel. Many celebrities stayed, including Michelle Obama, so, st so staff can be counted to be discreet. There's an honor bar full of alcohol and snacks, but most notably guests can purchase seven inch finals from Third Man Records, Jack White in Nashville based location. Our next one is Nobu Hotel, London Portman Square in the UK. This one includes restaurants, black card, rock, strip, yellow tail, jambalayas. So this is, um, it has the East Meet West artwork of Gavin Mitchell's and flavors. They have um, teas. They have snacks, sliced beef, um, sandals, and um, caramel esclairs. Upstairs is slick and stylish. It has a Japanese tea set. So yes, people, these are some of the hotels you can um, stay at for the places that I have spoke about before. Um, I'll tell y'all about Australia. Australia is another place. If y'all want to hear about it, let me know. Australia and Norway. If y'all want to hear about Australia and Norway, let me know. Because like I tell everybody, I love telling y'all where, where I have traveled, where it's okay for everybody. But I haven't traveled to Australia and Norway. So I can't really say if it's okay for everybody. I know my friend, she's she's Norwegian, but that works for her because um, my audience, what, I, what I'm trying to say is that my audience don't just stems to one nationality or one culture. It extends to many, it's like me, it's very diverse. Many cultures, many, so when I speak of things, I wanna speak of things that I have been through and where I can tell you like, oh, it's safe to go here. But I always tell y'all this, it's not safe to go really nowhere. <laughs> there's places you sh you know you, sh you can be, and then there's places you know you cannot be. You know y'all always hear me tell y'all this. Um, but if that's somewhere y'all want to travel, just let me know. I'd like to thank y'all for listening to Sonya Podcast. Sorry about the noise. Everybody knows it's spring break and it's going to be a lot of noise. So, um, I already gave, follow my son's sounds on Instagram. We have an hour out on Apple, Spotify. Follow TJ VULC VUCAI and she have a book called Black Girl in Orange. Follow Kings Flex on SoundCloud and Female Reform. They have a venture store in New York and y'all have a blessed night.